Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So, I want to make a quick tutorial. Um, since I have uh, someone DM'd me uh, reporting that they had this issue where when they took their FBX model and converted it to VRM, they were unable to get the blend shapes working here. So, basically, um, they had where their model had the blend shapes, right? And when they were exporting it to VRM, it didn't work. Well, basically, what I did was I replicate with this broken mall here. Um, and basically, as you can see here on the blend shapes, there is no tiny, tiny, tiny little arrow for the blend shapes. And I'll even go over here as well, uh, selecting the mesh, and you can also see the there's no blend shape little tiny arrow anywhere, basically. Um, but the thing is, is that if I were to go into Blender, on the other hand, if I go to Blender and I select the model and I go into Object Data, um, as you can see, it has the blend shapes there already. So how do you fix this issue? Well, primarily there's actually one answer. There could be multiple answers, but the most common uh, answer for this whenever your blend shapes are not popping up, it, it doesn't have to be just VRM only, it could just be Unity, is unapplied modifiers. You need to make sure that before you export your model into FBX, you have to remove any modifiers that are unapplied. So, for instance, you can see how I didn't apply the outline solidify modifier here, and I didn't apply this extra armature modifier here. These two need to go away. So, for the armature, I will just simply delete it. As for the outline, uh, because I have shape keys, I use an add-on called SK Keeper. SK Keeper is a really great add-on that I highly recommend to download. I'll leave it in the description. It's an add-on that you can be able to apply modifiers while still maintaining your shape keys. There could be that one rare chance that it might glitch out with the add-on, but overall, it's been a really great experience, and I highly recommend um, if you're someone who has been struggling on applying modifiers after making blend shapes, that add-on is a godsend. So pretty much, I would just go to Object, go all the way down, apply chosen modifiers, basically. I would choose my outline or whichever, like, subdivision or solidify some other add um, modifier there, and I would basically just apply it, basically. And pretty much after that, um, that's pretty much it, and you would just re-export uh, your model into, you know, Unity, and you'll be able to properly be able to see your blend shapes again. If by any chance you still don't see your blend shapes, there could be some other issue. Um, I would recommend maybe try importing your blend file uh, if you're using Unity 2019, um, which for the most part for VRM and VSF Avatar, you do need 2019. So if you're using Unity 2019, you could just import the blend file and see if that works. Also, if by any chance you have any issues where the shape keys have weird stretching issues, I would then recommend also import the blend file into Unity 2019, and that would probably work a lot better if you have any weird uh, issues where the blend shape looks good in Blender, but it looks bad in Unity. So, there's that too. Uh, but I hope that this tutorial helps you out regarding blend shape issues with Unity. And let me know if you have any other questions or any recommendations for tutorials. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!